Welcome to Morning Mindset Cafe. Morning Mindset Cafe is all about sharing a success principle or quote and taking a look at what it looks like in real life. Drink your coffee and your tea, listen to this short episode, then think about it for a bit and look for ways that you can put it to use in your life today. Join the Grow Alliance Facebook group to share with you others your thoughts about each episode. Today's mindset thought for the day. Money is either a good or a bad influence according to the character of the person who possesses it. It's true. Money has no character, no personality, no values. Its actions only reflect the desire of its owner. Money can build great hospitals and schools, or it can be gambled away or squandered on meaningless possessions. Money may build museums to house beautiful works of art. It may construct beautiful houses of worship. Or it may be used to create instruments of war and destruction. As you build your personal wealth, make sure you build your character by setting aside a portion of your income to help others. Choose a church, a charity, a cause that you can enthusiastically support. Then give of your money and your time in support of that cause. The primary beneficiary of each noble act is always the one who gives, not the one who receives. I always viewed money as a magnifying glass. When it accumulates, it magnifies the character of whoever is receiving it. There are a lot of very nice, very kind, very generous, wealthy people in this world. I know a few of them. It's not their wealth that makes them nice, kind, and generous. It's their character. They are the ones who make sure our libraries stay open, our public television programs are produced, our children's hospitals are operating, our missions and shelters are open, and more. The last sentence of the previous statement, the primary beneficiary is the one who gives, says to me, that this is the reason for their kind and generous character. They know the value of giving. There are those who are selfish, greedy, and mean, and I am happy to say I don't know them. I've met a few, and I've had no interest in spending time with them, for they had nothing to offer to me. I've watched some as they gathered their riches, and I'm not interested in so associating with them. They have nothing of value that I want. There are two causes that get my money and one that also gets my attention and time. The first is local, Center for Lay Ministries. They offer a food pantry, emergency needs assistance, and alcohol drug rehab for women. They get my money when asked. My time is spent with the women to teach them life skills. In the winter, my husband hunts deer and will donate two fully processed deer to the halfway house, which almost fills their freezer. The second is Kiva.org and Redbasket.org. On Kiva, I select either education or manufacturing, and with Redbasket.org, I do a random selection of one per month and donate from my giving allowance. If you are thinking that you want to give and that you only have a few dollars, I recommend you go to either Kiva.org or Redbasket.org. Crowdfunding is tremendously effective, and your few dollars plus my few dollars plus someone else's few dollars helps someone. Now, I must get back to my own wealth-building activities and keep watch on my character, and I suggest that you do the same. Thank you for joining me this morning. Let's move forward with the day on purpose with purpose to grow our hearts, grow our minds, and grow our businesses.